able to determine the location of a point is a crucial skill when working with a coordinate plane. When we're working with all four quadrants, being able to determine the sign on our x and y coordinates is also crucial. Let's start by identifying this point where our x-axis and our y-axis intersect. Where our x-axis and our y-axis intersect is the origin, and the origin is located at point zero, zero. Remember, when working with ordered pairs, our coordinates are always inside a set of parentheses with a comma separating the x and the y values. Let's come around and start here in quadrant one. To determine the location of this point, we start by seeing where it lines up on our x-axis. We can see that we're to the right of our origin so that we know our x value is going to be positive. We notice that our point lines up with the five on the x-axis, so the x value in our ordered pair is going to be positive five. Next, we can look at its y value. When we come across, we can see that we're going to be above the origin, so we know our y value is going to be positive. We can also see that our point lines up with the three on the y-axis. So positive three is going to be the y coordinate in our ordered pair. So the ordered pair that best represents this point is positive five, positive three. Coming around to quadrant two, we can determine the location of this point. When we check its x coordinate first, we notice we're to the left of the origin, so our x value is going to be negative. We notice our point lines up at the negative four. So in our ordered pair, our x coordinate is going to be negative four. We can check to see where it lines up on the y axis. We notice that we're above the origin, so our y value is going to be positive. Our point lines up with the two, so positive two is going to be the y coordinate in our ordered pair. So the ordered pair that best represents this point is negative four, positive two. Coming down to quadrant three, we start by checking its x value. We notice we're to the left of the origin, so our x value is going to be negative. We also notice our point falls between negative three and negative four. Since the scale on our x-axis is counting by ones and our point falls about halfway between negative three and negative four, we can estimate its x value is going to be about negative three and five tenths. Now we can come across and check its y value. We notice we're below the origin, so its y value is going to be negative. If we check, this point lines up with negative four on the y-axis. So this point is best represented by the ordered pair, negative three and five tenths, negative four. We can finish it off by identifying our point in quadrant four. When we check its x value, we notice it's to the right of the origin, so our x value is going to be positive. Our point lines up with two, so in our ordered pair, positive two is going to be our x coordinate. Coming across and checking its y coordinate next, we notice we're below the origin, so the y value is going to be negative. We also notice our point falls between negative one and negative two. Looking at the scale on the y axis, we see we're counting by ones. Since the point falls about halfway between negative one and negative two, we can estimate the y value to be about negative one and a half. So the ordered pair that would best represent this point would be positive two, negative one and a half. So when working with four quadrants, we not only have to pay attention to how far we go on our x and y axis, we also have to pay attention to what direction so we can determine if our ordered pair needs positive or negative signs in it.